We're back. Hello, gamers. All right, how legal items are found and destroyed in JFK. By passenger volume, it's the U.S.'s largest international airport of entry. And in just Terminal 4 alone, that equates to almost a thousand bags an hour. They always lose my bag at airports. It's the worst thing. Oh my God, they always lose my bag. Every goddamn day, they lose my bag. Everywhere I go, dude, I've had like five instances where I had to wear the same pair of clothes for like four days. I'm like, where is it? They're like, Georgia. I'm like, how the f is my bag in Georgia? Did you put it on the wrong plane? How did you lose it? And then they bring it like weeks later. Some of which isn't allowed into the country, including 120 pounds of food per day. So Why can't I bring food? I'm not allowed to bring like Brussels sprouts into a different, are those Brussels sprouts or limes? Wow, the TSA is really doing their work, stopping peppers from going into other countries. If you flew into JFK in the 90s, getting something into the US was a lot easier. But after 9-11, a conversation started about how to protect the country from dangerous foods. They really got four motherfuckers investigating ripe to bananas. To oh my God. You'll generally see two kinds of CBP officials at airports, officers like Steve and agriculture specialists like Ginger. Their job is to find, seize, and destroy millions of items each year that don't belong in the United States. It's a big job. What is that shit? Walnuts? A sidekick on four legs. This is K9 Spike. Look, Spike. He is a eight-year-old Belgian Malinois. I've been his only handler from. Ah! Uh, see, don't you want to pet him? But then he would bite your arm off. Strain in narcotics during the duration of our career. Probably sees over 400 different seizures. CBP officials like Steve identify high-risk individuals trying to enter into the U.S. as well as drugs and firearms. And because these are such high stakes. Dogs like Spike are trained in a special way, in what's called passive response, meaning if they sniff out drugs, they don't scratch, they don't bark, and they don't make a scene. They sit. And if they're right, the dog gets rewarded. His reward is actually this toy right here. So he likes to play. Bro works eight hours a day to get a toy. Damn. Talk about, un <laughs> Talk about bad pay. Bro works eight hours a day to play with a stick. The incinerator's location is kept a secret, as a matter of national security. Now, pretty much everyone knows that narcotics aren't allowed through U.S. borders. But actually, drugs aren't the most commonly seized item at JFK. Food is. Why? Why? Why can't I bring food into another country? When a regular traveler arrives in the U.S., they're required to declare any food items they're bringing in. Oh, I hate that shit. I hate that shit. Custom is so annoying. I, I came back when I was like really young one time. I had a flute. Coming back from another country, I was like seven. I had a fucking flute that I got from a different country, right? We're, we go to customs. They're asking my mom a bunch of questions. They're like, did he bring anything? My mom says no. I say, what about the flute? And then the, the officer's just like freaking out. I'm like, buddy, it's not that serious. I brought, I brought back a wooden fucking flute. They searched the bag. They're like, okay, you're fine. Why do they fucking care? Oh, I brought back limes from, from fucking Mexico. Who cares? These items aren't taken because agents want to eat your yummy Spanish ham or Caribbean mangoes. It's because agents are responsible for protecting American agriculture from any foreign pests or diseases that could affect our livestock or- Oh! Like parasite type shit. That's still dumb as fuck. I don't think that that's really that big of a- I, I, I mean, yeah, it's a worry. But like, really? I bring back a fucking coconut? Is that really gonna fucking start a problem? Everything gets destroyed to protect against yeah, that. Yeah, but that shit looks good as fuck. You really, why don't you make a big meal? You're destroying all that, bro? Come on, there's some good mangoes. We are protecting the country's agricultural interests. We're protecting against bioterrorism. Okay, I'm gonna defend the TSA people here. Everything gets destroyed. And say, why the fuck would somebody bring back a mango? Just a genuine question. Who the fuck packs a mango? Like, I've never, I, I, I initially was saying, why the fuck are they destroying the food? Who cares? But now my secondary question is, who the fuck's bringing a kiwi back from? <laughs> like, you're not getting some foreign fucking fruits that, like, you can't find anywhere. Bro brought back a fucking apple and a kiwi from a different country. Like, why, why do you need that? Lost $2.9 billion from 2007 to 2014, thanks to the Asian citrus psyllid 
And since being introduced into the U.S. in the 90s, the Asian longhorn beetle has ravaged hardwood trees. Eradication efforts between 1997 and 2010 cost more than $373 million. Damn. In our country, we go into the grocery store and the food is always there. We don't have to look at it for holes or check if it's got some disease on it. It always looks great. So we get kind of spoiled and we don't really understand the importance of, of protecting that. So it's crucial that even a single stowaway orange is found. Why is someone stowing away an orange? Are they doing it to like actually sabotage something? Or do they actually just want an orange? Going through each of those bags can seem pretty impossible. For humans, that is. Luckily, they've got a little help from the Beagle Brigade. This four-legged officer is Biscuit. And like Spike, Biscuit is trained in passive response. But Biscuit's trained to sniff out food. Rather than loser, Bi I'm sorry, Biscuit, you're a fucking loser. I'm sorry, it's so much cooler to be able to sniff out drugs than, than fucking oranges. Cringe. Cringe. Did you just say ugly ass dog? That is not an ugly dog. That's a cute dog. Cringe shitter. But he sniffs out fucking bananas. And then over the years, he'll expand. And they retire with sometimes like 150 olders that they know. And Biscuit's pretty good at sniffing. These beagles have an estimated 90% accuracy rate. Watching your dog mm, sit on. I have a 100% accuracy rate. L. L. 90%. It's pretty shit. Scientists say their nose is a thousand times stronger than ours, and they prove it every single day. Once Biscuit sniffs out an item, the passenger in question- That is actually pretty cool. He could smell a grape in a suitcase. Their bags go to Ginger, who will x-ray and search the luggage. Okay, these are both your bags, correct? Yes. Okay. Did you pack everything yourselves? Okay. You pack your bags yourself? Okay. Ginger unzips the bag and searches each one by hand. And if she what finds something that? that's not allowed, it's seized and held what in, is it? in temporary bins. This is very common from that region. Once you open it all up, you have grape leaves. These are horse meat sausages. This is another very good example of what Why we get. Why are they bringing that though? Very frequently, especially in the springtime. This is a plant that they're planning on bringing here to grow. So anything for propagation. Would you get in trouble though? I doubt it. Like if you bring drugs, you're gonna get them seized, you're gonna go to jail. But like if you bring like a grapefruit and they fucking find it, like I don't think you're gonna get in trouble. So this is two families worth <laughs> from one flight. JFK disposes of the contraband food in one of two ways, the grinder or the incinerator. Ginger will bag up the seized items and label them based on their final destination. So we're gonna go walk this bin, nice and full from those two passengers, down to our contraband room. This is the room where illicit food meets its end. Oh no. This is our grinding machine. This is what we'll generally use for- You think she ever eats some of the food? Yo, I'm fucking up that apple. Like no, no cap. I don't even care where that apple's from. I'm fucking up that apple right there, bro. Like, just off cam. What is that? That looks like chicken. If that's chicken, it's over, man. I'm eating that shit. But before Ginger can send a piece of fruit down the muffin monster... Ew, what the fuck are you doing? She cuts it open, squishes it, and inspects it. She's looking for evidence of diseases, insertion points for insects, and exit points for larvae. If she finds a little bug, like this one, she neutralizes the pest risk and sends it to the U.S. Department of Agriculture for further investigation. I was gonna say her job's easy as fuck, but that made her job way harder. 120 pounds of food are grinded up each day from arriving international passengers. Avocados, mangoes, and citrus are among the most common fruits that end up in the grinder. We do get messy. It's important to dispose of it properly. I love to eat as much as everybody else. I am a big fan of food, but I know the importance of making sure that what we seized- It is a waste of food, but if they didn't do this, then it would cause more of a waste of food later on. So the next time you've got an orange tucked into your luggage, declare it and let oh. experts like Ginger decide if it's immiscible and leave the Serrano ham in Spain because Biscuit will find it. No, he won't. He got a 90% acceptance rate. If I shove if I shove that horse meat in a shampoo bottle, he ain't going to find that shit. Yep, Biscuit's going to fucking fail on that. I'm the 10% that Biscuit don't find. I'm the 10%.
I smuggled an avocado one time. No, I didn't. I'm the 10%. Biscuit didn't find my fucking avocado. Sho I'll shove that shit. Shove that shit up my ass. <laughs> Are you? Do you have anything with you, sir? Let me go use the bathroom real quick. You shove the avocado up your ass. <laughs> you, you're that... You're that obsessed with avocados that you fucking smuggle an avocado up your ass. They they end up searching you and they think you're going to have like drugs and then the avocado falls out of your ass. You're like, please don't take it. I'll make, I'll make some guacamole with it right now.